You hear this statement so often, and uh, I can see why people would want to believe that, why we would want to believe that, because it makes for a more peaceable dialogue and ultimately make any differences to be merely superficial. But listen to this carefully now. I think it is often assumed that religions are all fundamentally the same and only superficially different. I really believe the reverse is true. At best, they may be superficially the same. They are actually fundamentally different. Uh, think of this, Gautama Buddha, he was a man who was looking for answers on the problem of evil, the problem of suffering, and Gautama Buddha was born a Hindu. But he ultimately renounced to the fundamental claims of Hinduism, uh, the caste system and the authority of the Vedas, and went about uh, founding his own worldview. All of these major religions of the world at their core are exclusivistic. They exclude opposite teachings. And so you have to take the fundamental questions of life and see how they are answered. I remember a student once asking me, uh, is the God of the Quran the God of the Old and the New Testaments? And this was in a Muslim audience. And he accepted my answer very fairly. I said, you need to bear in mind that an Orthodox Muslim scholar and an Orthodox Christian will both say, no, that is not so. For example, in the, in the Bible, Jesus is presented as uh, dying on the cross and rising again. Those two claims are denied by the Quran. So the important question is not whether they claim the same things, they don't, but which claim is true and how do you measure that truth?